Hey guys, we're gonna talk about the jerk. Um, some of the things, drills I like to use for a warm up uh, to kind of prep and watch for positions um, and just kind of help execute the movement pattern a little bit more uh, proficiently. Um, these drills can be helpful. Always recommend using an empty bar or a lightweight so that way you can make those adjustments as we're going. So we're gonna start off with a dip drive. So before doing these, I always emphasize don't take it overhead until I cue the jerk. But for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just the dip and pause. Now the goal is to develop a straight up and down bar path with the knees going out, not forward. Now the goal, the goal is to dip to the point where we're going to accelerate and then let that bar pop off the shoulders without hitting the face. But as we receive it, receiving it with a bent knee, the same pattern that we would have that we would be taking off from. So just to kind of rewire and find that dip drive position. From there we go into the tall jerk. Now the tall jerk is essentially gonna get as tall as we can just as if we are finishing that dip drive and then dropping underneath it. Now as we go through that position, we wanna be able to have the strength to push off to the toes, press it right off the forehead, and then drop underneath it. Now, if we don't have that strength to press it out, let's grab a lighter bar, training bar, PVC pipe, something that we can practice that level change. Now, from there, we'll go into some pressing. So how strong are we in that receiving position? So after we go through that receiving position, we wanna maintain that split stance to go through the press. Now, if we're going with a split jerk or a power jerk, the principles all apply, okay? We want that same dip, knees out, bar pass stays nice and straight. The only thing that's gonna be different is how we receive it with our feet. Still focusing on picking those feet up and pushing yourself underneath. Work on finding those positions before we get heavy loads. Move it will look really better, much better.